Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Arthur and you're watching Dirt Hammers Off-Road Media. Today, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to tune your CB antenna. And uh, this is gonna be a fire stick. It's gonna be a 48 inch uh, ground plane antenna with a tunable tip. Uh, but so, this is your first time, make sure you uh, like the video, comment, subscribe, share the video. And um, we're gonna jump into this. But before we do, uh, if you'll check up here in the corner, I'm gonna put a video link for how to properly mount your uh, antenna and I think that's going to be some good information to get you started and then this video will help you tune your antenna so let's get started okay so a couple things that you're going to need uh, you're going to need an SWR meter and a small CB coax type cable and I'll put some links down below to where you can uh, purchase these I think I got less than 25 bucks in the SWR meter and the little cable but also on your um, um, fire stick antenna just real quick, we'll take a look at this before we go too much further. But as you can see, there's a tunable tip. It's got like a little thumb screw here you loosen, and you take the tip of it, and you can make it longer or make it shorter, depending on what you're trying to achieve with your um, SWR readings. And then you can just gently snug the little thumb screw back up, and you put your little cover back over it. Typically, what I've found and it may not be the same for every setup, but as I lengthen this tip, my SWR numbers get better. If I shorten it, they get worse. Is that gonna be the same for everybody? I don't know, um, but that's the way my application seems to be. If I lengthen this, SWRs get better. If I shorten it, they get worse. So now I'm gonna to attempt to uh, show you how to hook up the SWR meter. My CB's in an overhead position here, so we're just gonna to have to, um, space is a little limited on hooking up things, but Go ahead and unhook your uh, cable that's running from your antenna to the CB. Go ahead and unhook that. Next, take the SWR meter. If you'll flip it around, here's where you're gonna take your transmission cable and then you got an antenna. The cable coming from your antenna on your Jeep will go here and then this cable here, the other end of it, We'll plug into the back of the uh, CB where your antenna normally would plug in. So let me show you that, and then we'll look at it with it completely wired up. Okay, so I got my antenna coming from the back of the Jeep from the CB antenna going into this port. And then the little short additional cable plugged in here in the trans port runs up and plugs into the back of your CB. So it's pretty simple. Um, it's a little cumbersome here, uh, the way my CB is mounted, trying to get all this stuff uh, held. And... Uh, but I hope you can see it in the video how I have this wired. It's real simple. Antenna, transmit cable to CB. Okay, so before you get started, one of the first things you wanna do uh, before you even worry about checking SWR readings is you wanna calibrate the SWR meter. So you're gonna do that with channel one. You're gonna press in the uh, mic or the receiver. Take the little dial indicator. You're gonna turn it until the needle is on the set position and a little switch here make sure it's on fwd double check it and that's how you calibrate before you check your swr you can also do that you'll do that on channel 40 as well so we're going to check channel 40 we'll calibrate then now we would be ready to set or check our swr reading there's channel 40. It's calibrated. We would flip the little switch down, check our SWR. We're down to 1.2. Same thing if we go to channel one. Let's put that on FWD. Let's calibrate. Make sure it's calibrated. Flip that down to REF and we're down to 1.4, 1.5. So that's how you calibrate the uh, SWR meter. All right, now that we've calibrated the SWR, what we wanna do is be on channel one. We're gonna transmit, and then when I transmit, I'm gonna take the little toggle switch here and I'm gonna push it down to REF. What we're looking for is, from the information I've gathered, the common thing that we wanna do is we wanna get our SWR reading below 1.5. So you can see that there's a red area there at uh, three or two and a, 
maybe two and a half or three right here there's a red area of course that'd be our danger zone we got problems whether it's our antenna's not properly grounded cable issues something's going on or it just needs to be properly tuned so we're going to transmit i'm going to take and push this button down to ref and maybe hard to see that in the camera but we are about 1.6 1.7 it's kind of coming down a little bit so we're going to we'll check channel 40 just for argument's sake uh, typically in this process you want to check channel 1 and channel 40 and then sometimes you can check channel 20 in the middle but a lot of times guys will just go straight to channel 20 dial it in and it's good to go but I typically do channel 1 and channel 40 just to see where we're at there's channel 40 and it's below 1.5, but we probably need a little calibration. It's right at 1.3. Let's go back to channel one. 1.5. So um, this is actually really, this is not bad. The CB would probably perform well here, but I'm gonna make it a little bit better. I'm gonna get it below 1.5. Um, I purposely tried to set my antenna up so it would get a really bad reading but the worst reading i can get is about 1.7 1.8 so let's dial the antenna i'm actually going to take the adjustment and lengthen it and see if we can lower that uh, swr number okay so i lengthened the tip on the uh, fire stick i'm going to start on channel one i got the toggle switch and fwd we're going to do a little we're going to check our calibration again and just dial that in Get that on the set. Once we get that set, flip the switch down to REF. I'm down to 1.2 on my SWR, which is really good. Let's do channel 40. Put it on channel 40. We'll go back to FWD. Let's calibrate this. Now we want to flip the switch down. And we're at uh, 1.2. 7, 1.7. So we still got some fine tuning to do. Okay, so I made a couple adjustments on the antenna. And um, I think I got it dialed in pretty good. So let's take a look. First thing we want to do is just check channel 1. Make sure our little switch is on FWD. Hit the transmit. And let's just calibrate. Once we get that calibrated and get the needle set on set, we're down to 1.4 on the REF switch. So now we can uh, push this switch back to w, or FWD. Go to channel 40. Let's calibrate. Once we get that calibrated to set, push the switch down to REF and then we're down to like 1.3, 1.4. So that's really good. Okay guys, so that's the video. Um, I hope you learned something. Hope you can get your CB dialed in, get the antenna tuned. But um, I just want to give you a couple of tips. One is uh, when you're tuning the tip of the antenna, you know, I mentioned earlier in the video, you can go pretty drastic one or two turns just to see how it reacts on your meter. Um, that help you kind of a little bit through the learning process. But ideally, you want to do small adjustments. Those adjustments, you want to do, the reason you want to do small is because it affects both your high and your low channels. Okay. And ideally, you want to get your high and your low channels as close as you can. It's about the same as uh, SWR reading. So, um, eight quarter inch turns on the uh, tuning tip of the antenna is perfectly fine. Baby steps to get it dialed in. Uh, another tip would be try to get you know try to get your Jeep out away from buildings, get it out of the garage. Make sure you don't have a bunch of overhead power lines. Just try to you ain't got to get super remote, but just try to get away from structures and uh, buildings and power lines. I did this today at my house and I live in the city and uh, it seems to work pretty good. I don't have a lot of tall buildings or a lot of power lines uh, directly over me. So um, that's another tip. Just make sure you get out, out away from those things. Another tip is um, on your SWR meter. One thing that um, you saw in the video, I was kind of dancing between channel one, channel 40, calibrating, checking the REF. Um, one thing that works pretty simple kind of works pretty well is put your CB on channel 20, calibrate 
make sure you get the uh, needle hand on set and you know calibrate it and then check your RF flip the switch down check your RF and uh, get that below your desired setting um, and then you can go back check channel 1 and 40 make adjustments validate channel 20 again check channel 1 and 40 and um, that seems to work pretty well um, I did it off camera just to make sure but it does work and um, another thing another tip is you know I read some information where you want to be below 1.5 on your um, SWRs well the instructions that come with this say you want to be below 2.1 so uh, do your own little research there um, see what works best for you. Uh, I got mine channel low and high, both under 1.5. I think the lower you can get it, just the better your signal's gonna be. You're gonna have less power loss. Um, but that's it. Um, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And again, um, I wanna hear from you. I probably missed a step and um, probably some things that I could do differently. Um, if, you, if you know what those are, please leave a comment below. And again, I'm gonna leave another link up here in the corner. I'll post it again. And it's a video on how to tune, or not how to tune, but how to properly mount your antenna so it will function properly. So when you go to tune it, you're not going to run into any issues. But make sure you like the video, comment, uh, share it with your friends, and uh, thanks for watching.